Let us pray for strength and wisdom on these little ones. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the love, mercy, and grace you've given unto us, Lord, that you watch over these little ones, Lord, and that you anoint them, and you pour out the power of the Holy Spirit upon their lives, Lord, so the power of the Holy Spirit dwells upon them, Lord, so they may do your will, Lord. Let not the enemy have any dominion over them or have any step foot upon them, Lord, but I pray for the anointing to fall, Lord, so they be your children, Lord. They are an army of God, and they're the army that we love so much and that your own son died for, Lord, on that cross. We pray that the blood of Jesus Christ is poured upon them, Lord, that they may stumble and fall, but you will be by their side and you will lift them up into glory. Let them walk the walk of faith daily, Lord. Let the parents guide them in all truth and wisdom. Let the power of the Spirit fall upon them and their families. Family, Lord let the parents at home proclaim Jesus Christ because that is the only truth that they ever need to know because that is the short path and the true path to Jesus I pray these little ones walk straight and walk far but their path will be hard but it will be grateful it will be a pleasure and they will be blessed by our Lord Jesus because he is with them always he will be with them to every step that they take he will be with them when we are not there he will give them power and strength that we do not know yet he will be anointing these will be the preachers these will be the teachers these will be the prophets these will be the healers that are among you and they will proclaim Jesus Christ and him crucified I pray we as a church help them grow in that word in that truth which is Jesus Christ that the spirit dwells inside them and they may be able to go to the uttermost they may go to all the dark places in this world and proclaim that Jesus lives and he will live inside your heart if you ask for him to come I pray Lord that you pray and you watch every single one of them that they are in your hand always if they stumble, Lord, I pray that you pick them up because they are your children, Lord. They are our children. They are the church and they are the future. And to this, we give you all the glory and praise because we pray in our Jesus, in our Lord and Savior, the God is through everything, the God of God, the Lords of Lord, the anointed, the exalted God of all. We get to worship today through his son, Jesus. And we pray that privilege upon them, upon this church. And in him we pray, in Jesus' name we pray, amen.